What is going on YouTube? Extra Union Task Force 1 here. I wasn't really planning to do this. That last update video was the last one I was planning, but uh, being less than a week to release right now, it is, um, it is the 23rd, and it comes out on the 30th, Farming Sim 15 does, and, well, a week left, and, uh, and it's go time, and I'm really excited. I'm getting really anxious for it to come out. And, uh, so, I was gonna just stick with that one, but they have added a couple more things, and I'm pretty sure that's the final thing. They've added the final things, and so here, uh, I didn't really explain how to do what I did last time, but once you're at FarmingSimulator.com, you will be brought to this page, which is the, uh, the, the homepage, I guess you'd call it, and then you just want to go up here to Games. Then from Games whatever you want to view I'm gonna do farming simulator 15 and then you click on it and it is right here so um, alright so just gonna get started here um, Amazon has got nothing new Arkison doesn't Bergman doesn't Brentner doesn't and from the videos that they have released, I've pretty much come to a conclusion that this is your starter trailer. So hopefully that's a good size trailer. If not, you just go into your config settings and modify the size if you want. Uh, nothing new. Nothing new. Um, nothing new there. Maybe that uh, axial flow 7130 might be new. Uh, Damcon. Nope, do it's far. They added the 7250 TTV, which I'm really happy because that is a monster of a tractor. And it in FS13, it did everything you needed done. Flygle, nothing new. They added just a few things, but I can't quite remember the brands. That's your stump grinder, Grim. Uh, nothing new. Maybe that a uh, three meter wide potato planter, but I'm pretty sure not having that. Horsch, they've got this extra wide plow, I think, from the last time, and then this, uh, these cultivators. My bad. These two cultivators are new, I believe. Uh, then the last time, I, uh, Herleman, I'm gonna go with. Uh, they only had this older guy, and so this guy is a new one. So. I haven't played with that tractor, I haven't seen it in real life, so I don't know what to expect from it, but I'm hoping a good little tractor. Husky, Husky Varna, my favorite, is the chainsaw. It is a 550, which the 550, I believe, is a 20-inch saw blade. We got 20 inches of cut area. We've got a 750, I've got a 750 in real life, and that is a 26-inch blade, uh, chainsaw bar on it. And it is a 75cc motor on it, and cc stands for cubic centimeters, and so it's a centimeter cubed in your head area, so you guys can figure that out. But And it's just a monster, so this guy's, the chainsaw I've got, it's its little brother, pretty much. So that guy's right around 20, 22 inches worth of cut area. So, Husky, they build damn good stuff in real life. So I'm hoping they they did that in the game too. Nothing new from Jens. Johnsert is another chainsaw. This guy is by how it's set up, so looking like it's only gonna be like an 18 inch bar. I don't know if they're gonna do different bar sizes or not, but that looks to be about an 18 or 20 inch bar. And Karcher, this looks to be our pressure washer. So considering now that in game you get, your tractors get dirty without a mod they've got to throw that in so that way you can clean your stuff because dirty tractors ain't cool dirty tractors don't look good nothing new nothing this guy is new but i'm not sure what that guy is for so i guess uh and whenever fs15 comes out i will be making a video as soon as my computer gets done downloading it and i figure stuff out i will be making a video or even while I'm playing with stuff, I might uh, make a video. So, yeah, I don't quite know what that guy's for, but yeah, that's what's going on. So, and I believe these guys were here. Agroliner uh, had that. 
Yeah, I'm hoping they add in. I hope this guy is not the uh, four hundred fifteen thousand dollars that it was in FS13 because that was kind of outrageous. The guy that was, uh, I think the other one was like three sixty five, three seventy, three hundred seventy thousand dollars. That one was even kind of ridiculous, but hopefully they do a little bit better pricing. So, so here it looks like uh, I don't know about. I don't think these guys were here. I'm not sure about the uh, the self-feeding silage wagon either. I think that guy was and that guy was, but I don't think any of those others. So you got a uh, four-furrow plow. Sorry for whatever I called them. I think I called them tines last time, but tines are on a cultivator. And they are the little upside-down air curved arrow piece is what a tine is, is what the tine is. And so... Uh, and these guys are also tines, I believe. Don't yell at me in the comments. I'm not perfect. These are also tines, but yeah, there you go. Lamborghini. I am happy. They got the big Lamborghini tractor in here. I haven't checked into Lamborghini tractors in real life, but Lamborghini's really proud of their stuff. So it's probably going to be pretty expensive. Limpkin. We got this uh, cultivator here. Or is it a disc or a cultivator? Whatever. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good sized dude. So, Liber, we have a four wheel steering, four wheel drive, uh, telehandler, and uh, Liber makes good stuff. Uh, whenever I would ride with my dad, he owned a dump truck business for probably six or seven years, and uh, after he retired from the United States military he was sf for 17 years and then he got injured so he had to medically retire and he went into dump trucking and both of these are incredible loaders just different plants that we would go to and get loaded from different construction sites and stuff they this guy turns on a dime so and the the uh articulating ones they don't but they hold a whole lot more weight They're, they don't get as front heavy as quick as the uh, telehandler does. Telehandlers get really light really quick. And one thing they should have fixed here is put the uh, stabilizers off the sides here. Off the front, You generally these telehandlers have two stabilizers that go down almost straight out, maybe at a slight angle coming out here to stabilize it whenever that boom goes out and extends because that is a lot of weight out there. That boom probably weighs darn near a ton so moving on Lindner the Geotrack 94 I think I might use that this year and, or in FS15 I didn't like it in FS13 because it had really wide wheel wheels and the back was just kind of empty I wasn't a fan of that okay so on to Lizard the Lizard pickup I don't know if, if it was there I'm pretty sure it was but uh looks like we got some new uh some new stuff just for the uh, telehandler as you can see telehandler oh, there we go so you've got your uh, pallet forks your log fork your shovel your bale fork your bale grab your manure fork and then onto the wheel loader which is the art articulating guy so this guy this bucket is going to be cool I'm going to definitely invest in it by those little ruts in there I know what that bucket does that's a, that's a dead giveaway for what that guy does. If you guys know in FS13, if you played it, the wheel loader did not the uh, yeah wheel loader I guess front loader whatever you want to call it. You don't I don't really care. Don't yell in the comments about it. But it it would barely clear the semi trailer. And what this guy does is it allows you to go over the top of the trailer with your bucket flat, and then it's got a hydraulic ram. So it's almost got a pair of pallet forks under here, and then it's got a hydraulic ram that pushes the bucket up and over while maintaining a level position. So it's pretty cool. I like it. Those those are pretty cool in real life. Only got loaded by those like loaded by that guy like once, but but it was a cool concept. <laughs> Usually bobcats and stuff or skid steers and uh, yeah, generally they've got him because even the uh, 500 series bobcat skid steer 
barely clears a a tin wheel dump truck's bed, a full size one, anyways. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we've only got this truck for now. I hope they add in an American truck because I really want an American truck. But I'll do. I, I haven't had a bad experience with man yet, so I mean I'll work with them. And a uh, slurry spreader. And here's another chainsaw. This guy looks to be really small. Or the, it might just be because the bar's thin, so. But it's right around to probably in 16, 18, 20 inch bar, right around there. And New Holland, so, they moved the, uh, the, the uh, detachable and attachable front loader from uh, Stoll, I think that was, over into New Holland where it belongs. So the front loader attachments will. Uh, the wheel loader attachment should work on that guy. So, that that's my guess. Because I don't see any other tools. So, it's either that or the telehandler. But the telehandler is a little bit weird with its setup. So, if you've ever looked up and got up close and personal with them, they're kind of weird. But, it looks like New Holland's got a little bit bigger of a hit. A uh, combine too here now. So, this looks like the case pretty much. Reskinned. And, uh... You can tell that these heads are for this guy. Yeah, this guy has a 12. I like what they did here. This, I mean, FS15. Uh, so that guy is a 6 row corn header. This guy is a 12 row corn header, so it's twice the size. This guy is an 18 foot. Uh, sorry, I looked at that guy, and that guy's 41 feet. That was a bit uh, shocking. <laughs> but uh, it's an 18 foot grain header, and this guy is a holy crap a 41 foot grain header I hope that's like the large case header that got released with titanium pack on Xbox 360 edition of FS13 where you press your button press a button and the wheels come down and a little trailer hitch comes out because I don't want to mess with that and get that onto a transport trailer so so here's our big baler which my guess is this guy is the square baler being the uh, ramp right back there I believe I can manage to zoom in yes there we go so with that guy oop, don't want that so with that that guy will fold down and then your bales will uh, just slide off the back of that and all that is is a bunch of rollers and all right, that ain't working now but uh this guy, hopefully they fixed it, that mechanic because I didn't like that mechanic in FS13 with the round baler where you had to stop, unload it, close the hatch, and then continue on. That was really insufficient. So hopefully they fixed that. I would love it if they did. I'll use the round baler. I'll get it and check it out. But yeah, that's all that's new from Case from the last time. Puttinger, they added this little dude, which was a mod in FS13. And that guy ran for... 15 or 21 grand something right in there and I know there's and that's pretty much all here I really could have done without this mower that mower is useless I don't like it at all but ponds I know they didn't add anything new because they've got million dollar equipment <laughs> and ponds literally builds those two things same nothing new and uh Sempo Rose and Lou, I guess, is what it is. So, I, I'm not sure if this guy was here the last time that I did this, which was almost a month ago, so quite a bit of stuff got added. Kind of looked through the list by myself, and uh, some I've noticed a couple new brands pop up, like Husky. I love Husky. Husky's a boss. They produce really good equipment from little yard stuff to larger farm equipment. They well, smaller farm equipment, I'll say. Uh, side by sides, I believe they do. And uh, so, yeah. And this guy is looking to be about the uh, size of that little green harvester, that first harvester. That I, I think it was ninety grand, is how much a harvester was worth. So that little green, uh, that little white cab. Uh, what, what was that guy? Not a no, not Holland. That guy was uh, do it, I believe. Do it's far, is what that guy was. All right, so 
that harvester might be a new one, but it's looking to be a smaller harvester. So, and Steppa is, yes, sweetness. I'm going to get this trailer for sure. I'm definitely going to play around with a lot of logging. So, just that if you're interested in logging. I'm going to do some farming too, don't get me wrong. But, I'm really excited to play a non-buggy version of logging. So, play with the new physics and check and see how it is. And, uh... In real life, these trailers, uh, okay, yeah, it looks like it's got stabilizers that come down right there, so. I don't know if that is a stabilizer or what that is, but it looks like a stabilizer, so. And you put your stabilizers down, then you climb up the ladder, sit down in your chair, and you sit right there looking back and swing your boom and do whatnot and load it, so. Really excited about that. Now, a cool feature I would enjoy is if the tractor... Because this guy's got its own it's got its own engine on it in real life, and it's got its own hydraulics, I believe. You, I've seen a model with it, so I don't know if this is the cheaper model or the more expensive with its own hydraulics and whatnot. But if it doesn't have its own hydraulic system, well, I mean it does, but if it doesn't have its own motor to run it or its engine, whatever you prefer, I don't really have a preference on motor or engine. Uh, if it doesn't have its little its own engine to uh, run its hydraulic system. Hopefully they will incorporate uh, manual transmissions on tractors, and then you have to get out of the tractor and go in and sit up in here for a... I would like that, just for a better view, because dealing with this guy from the cab is kind of wonky. It's weird and fidgety. But again, physics are getting changed to accept this kind of stuff. So, And moving on to Steyer... And I'm going to definitely get this tractor. I'm not even going to mess with this uncaged one. I'm just going to flat out get this forestry one. So it'll be able to work in my field and do forestry. So I'm hoping they've got a, a larger field. So nothing new here either. Drop in, I'm guessing. Nothing new there. And here's the stole. So these guys might actually be your uh, the guys that go on the... Uh, on the new, on the Hollands, I'm pretty sure these guys go on, are the ones that go on the Hollands. If you've watched their videos, which I'm not gonna show because I don't want to risk a copyright strike, but my channel is small enough to where I don't really have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, I'm just not even gonna bother. So this guy, I don't know where he goes. Maybe for one of the larger new Hollands, that'd be cool. Or uh, yeah, just I'd, I'm curious to see where that guy goes. So. Alright, and here's your ballast boxes, or front weights as they call it, but they're ballast boxes. Uh, the one thing I would wish they would have done is here, uh, at this pin hitch, put a marker. So you can see where the front of that guy is, because that's my pet peeve with these weights. Is uh, You can't see where these weights are if you drive in cab, which I'm going to try driving in cab. Hopefully it's not as buggy. As FS13 was, because FS13 was buggy with in cab views for some reason. Like the uh, the uh, your your perception, your depth perception wasn't that great. It, FS13 didn't render it all that well. So, and uh, yeah, this isn't gonna run onto a uh, 40 or 50 minute video like the last one. Currently at 18 minutes and 40 seconds. So wrapping up pretty quick. But Tam, yeah, those guys that I'll I'll uh, I'll see about it. I might just uh, find some other way to do some weight. Hopefully they add like a chainsaw box, and then I'll just throw that on the front of it because those those like the uh, FS13 chainsaw box. That that box is a solid piece of steel. That got well, not a solid piece, but it is it's solid steel construction. So that steel weighs a lot. And uh, I wish they would have a, uh, on like, uh, so where's Holland at? Here's Holland. So on these guys, on the big articulating ones, oh, nope, I don't want to do that. So on these big articulation ones, let's grab that. Okay, so, all right, sorry about that, but their pictures aren't rendered for being up this close but on the front of these guys on the articulation ones you've got steel plates that you can add and remove for more weight in the front if you need it which I, it doesn't look like they're going to do that feature and each one of those plates weigh uh, 
it's just shy of 300 pounds, I believe. It's like 275 pounds, 290 pounds. So you've got to have a freaking crane winch to lift it up. So uh, I wish they would have added that kind of a ballast box because I really would have used it then for, oh, I can zoom really far out. If you guys don't know how I'm doing that, I'm just pressing control and using my mouse scroll wheel. So that's as far as I can zoom out. And uh, there's 100%. Let's zoom into like 175. Maybe not. 125 will be good. So, okay, back to Tam. So, that that's just a little thought. Hopefully, somebody will make that as a good mod, and I will I will use it, and I will mod spotlight it, and I will I'll I'll completely shoot people towards it. So, nothing new here at Ursus. Uh, this came this all came well except for this guy, this uh, 15014. I loved that tractor and. Uh, FS13. That was a good tractor, and I hope they uh, had like a front loader attachment for that guy. That'd be really cool. I'd really enjoy that. So, uh, cause I love that tractor, and that tractor is a good medium sized tractor. That was usually one of the first ones that I'd buy to upgrade from the stand, the uh, first tractors that you get, cause you know you got those burrs and uh, some chintzy little friggin' old tractors from like the 60s, 70s. Uh, maybe even 40s 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s I don't know where that tractor was from I don't even know that tractor's name that's pretty bad but I didn't like it the little open cab tractor that only went freaking 9 miles an hour that you got or 12 miles an hour I didn't I wasn't a fan of that <laughs> but uh, here's a uh, a newer spreader bale it looks like yeah it's your, your bale trailer but they don't have that versus baler so that's interesting and here's your round bale wrapper. So that's all from Ursus. And uh, Vladerstead. Vatterstead. My bad. I threw an L in there. So this guy, again, I, this guy was here. I remember it. These two guys were here. So this guy looks like he's a um, a potato or corn planter. And then this guy looks like he's your normal planter. But I'm curious about these front wheels. What's going on with that? Because this is the front side. So. I don't know why there's wheels up here. Maybe just on your three-point to take weight off of your three-point. I might have said this but uh, in the last one, but that guy is for your... Uh, those wheels, your three-point connects in to that point right there and that point right there, right in front of my cursor. It, it hooks in there, so you've only, you don't have your top three-point. You've only got your bottom two three-point for your three-point hitch connected. And so that really what that would do those wheels would do is it would take the tongue weight off of a smaller tractor so uh let's say the same it's not that big of a tractor but let's use that the little t4 holland this tractor is not that big and as you can see you can't you don't have a front three point to throw weight on so you're pretty limited on what you can do with it so that three point whenever that goes down it takes all the tongue weight off so all it is doing is pulling the weight it's got no tongue weight on the rear end of the tractor that's making the front end want to come up so uh they do that with larger scraper boxes and uh on a few other pieces of equipment that i know of so so if that is that that is pretty cool I, and if that functions properly i will really enjoy that and then here we've got a good sized vatterstead uh cultivator the carrier 820 so I'll probably definitely get that guy because I do like the uh, cultivators better. I'm not a fan of plows, just mainly because you gotta have so much more power for just as wide of a uh, plow for cultivator. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Vogel Newt looks like they got a nice cultivator here. And um, dude, that's a monster plow. That's all that is. That's a I don't know how many furrows that is. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So that's four back there. So you got a 12 furrow plow on. Uh, that takes a monster of a tractor. That tractor is going to be behind this this guy. You might be able to pull it behind this smart track because the tracks distribute weight better and it get tracks get better traction. If you haven't go and check that out, look up the, uh, I think, uh, do, look up on YouTube John Deere tracks versus tire tractors 
and you'll see the tracks just float across rough conditions and it doesn't get stuck so and like the harvesters too the harvesters because they weigh a lot and these heads weigh a lot too uh they john Deere has a uh has a track uh cult of a track to harvester and they put it up against their dual lead front their front dual lead harvester and the harvester the front dual lead harvester as soon as it went into the mud pit it got stuck and then i had to drop its head and then the freaking track one had to come and pull its head out go grab its head and then run through the mud pit and it went through the mud pit probably 30 times flawlessly so i i, I don't know i i i'd like to see that guy do with dualies this guy here dualies or tracks or maybe both that'd be really cool or if you could get tire change outs for this guy for the front so it's uh tracks all the way around i would really like that but uh yeah guys that wraps it up if you enjoyed this and want to look forward to uh fs15 videos be sure to uh comment and like that help me out a lot and be sure to subscribe for fs15 because i will be hopefully doing like a daily video i really plan to be doing a daily video and uh i might have, i might be buddying up with someone to do a co-op on uh fs15 and you guys will uh, have to wait to see uh we've been talking very briefly about it just uh shot him a message and said hey if you want to do it then i'd be cool with it so uh so yeah once it comes out uh be, except uh be ready to get a lot of farming simulator 15 videos so i think i might get uh on the same save world but i'll start out with uh i don't know i'd have to i have to see what uh what's going on with prices and stuff but i might go uh forestry first if forestry pays more because like uh forestry and fs 13 was very cheap in to get into in that mod and uh it was uh and you for each orange chunked section you got like a thousand five hundred dollars so that's a lot of money really quickly and you don't i don't know if they're gonna have like uh the withering in this which i'd imagine they would hopefully a little bit more of a realistic time span in the withering instead of you've got two days from the time it's ready to the time it withers because that really i didn't enjoy that so uh and i'll show you guys the your uh pc requirements so you have to have windows visa or vista windows 7 or 8 a uh 2 gigahertz intel or equivalent amd processor and nvidia geforce 8600 series ati red hd 2600 graphics card or better minimum 512 megabytes of vram uh, and uh I've, I've got that's all set for me two gigabytes of ram i've got 16 gigs so i'll be able to float it easily i've got freaking 900 gigabytes free on my uh solid state drive my ssd so the sound card my graphics cards got a sound card built in dvd rom drive that's only if you uh that's only if you get the the uh, disc version. So, like I'm getting the downloaded version. I've pre-ordered it on Steam, and the awesome thing about Steam is it will uh, it'll it'll download it before the release, and then as soon as it's released, it'll allow you to play it. So, I'm really looking forward to playing this game. And the next video I will be doing is a FS15 video, or uh, or I've got I've got some pre-recorded Minecraft stuff. So. You guys want to see that i'll throw it out why not no big deal on the uh Dire Wolf 20 pack but uh yeah so look to see you guys uh soon and uh like i said be sure to uh subscribe for more awesome content i'll be doing a lot of uh fs15 that's gonna be my channel focus for now i really like that cover too but that is uh that's what i got for you guys now and uh next thursday i'll which is will be the 30th it is the 23rd right now can't figure out where my mouse is going there we go it is the 23rd right now exactly one week from release it will be released on october 30th which is a thursday so and it is the 23rd right now that it is one 
50 in the morning so yeah so it might not be released by this time but usually I get whenever I pre-order stuff and it gets released I get it by about 7 in the morning my time and I'm Pacific time so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, subscribe for more awesome content and like if you enjoyed this video like if you want to see Farming Simulator 15 leave a comment if you want me to do some Minecraft too because I'll do whatever so I really enjoy Minecraft and Farming Simulator 15 and simulator games, so I've, they're really entertaining for me, so uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.